In 7.4, we'll look at inequalities. An inequality is a whole range of numbers that make the statement true. That symbol means greater than, and if we put a line underneath it, it means greater than or equal to. This means less than, and if we put a line underneath it, it means less than or equal to. If we have greater than or less than, we use a parenthesis when graphing. If we have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we use a bracket when graphing. Interval notation lists a starting and an ending point, and we read the graph from left to right. It means that everything in between is included. So let's look at some examples. We're going to graph x is greater than or equal to 6 and write the inequality. So in interval notation. So first of all, I always start with graphing. So I want to look at the 6 right here. And this is opening to the x, which means then we want numbers that are bigger to 6, bigger than 6. So we're going to go this direction from 6 to get numbers that are bigger. There's a line underneath it, so we want to use a bracket at that number. So interval notation, we start reading from left to right. The first thing we hit is this 6. So we're going to write the bracket with the 6. And then it keeps going for forever to the right, which means we're going to put an infinity and infinities always have parentheses. So the interval notation is this bracket with 6 and then infinity with a parenthesis. So here's another one. We're going to graph it first. So I'm looking at negative 3. And it's opening to the negative 3, which means negative 3 is the biggest number. So we want numbers that are smaller. So to get numbers that are smaller, we would go to the left of that negative 3. There's no line underneath here, so we would use a parenthesis at the negative 3. Now again, if I start reading from left to right on that number line, the first thing I see is this arrow in the negative direction. So I would have negative infinity as the start of my interval notation. And then if I keep going, I get to the negative 3, which is the end or the right side of my shaded area. And there's a parenthesis there, here, so I use a parenthesis here. And this is interval notation. To solve an inequality, we do the same thing as when we have an equal sign or an equation, except one big thing. When you multiply or divide by a negative number, we have to switch the inequality sign. So let's look at some examples. In this, we have x minus 3 is less than 4. So here's where my inequality sign is. So the first thing I'll do is add 3 to both sides. I'm not multiplying or dividing by a negative number, so this inequality sign stays exactly like it was before. So now I'm going to graph. So I look at my 7. It's opening to 7, which means 7 is the biggest number, and I want to go smaller than that. So that would be this direction. There's a line underneath, so I'd use a bracket. And actually, that bracket should actually be on the 7. OK, so now let's talk about this notation. Set builder notation means that we're using this solution that we found just like we wrote it down here. And we just have the bracket at the end. We read this as x, and that straight line is such that x is less than or equal to 7. So it's a set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 7. Interval notation, again, we start reading from the left. And we hit that arrow first, so we would have negative infinity. 
That's negative infinity because the arrow is going in the negative direction. And then we keep reading and we hit 7 with a bracket. So this is interval notation and this is set builder notation. So again, we're going to start with our equation. I'm going to write it down here so I have a little bit of room to work. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide by a negative 8 thirds on both sides. Because it's a negative, this sign has to change direction. So it was greater than, it's now less than. And 16 divided by a negative 8 thirds is negative 6. So that's already my set builder notation. I can put that up in here and that reads the set of x's such that x is less than negative 6. So now I'm going to graph it and I look at my negative 6. It's opening to negative 6 which means that's as big as we can get. We want x's to be smaller. So we shade this direction. It's just less than, so 6 isn't included, so I need a parenthesis at negative 6. And now I can read my interval notation. We're going to read from the left, so the first thing I get is an arrow in the negative direction, so negative infinity. And then I get to negative 6, and it's a parenthesis because it's not included. And that's my interval notation.